Hey guys, we wanted to share with you our plant and seed unit. Here are some of the books that we were able to read. Uh, some were read alouds of uh, stories, some were informational books, and some we owned, and most of them were from the library. We had a really good time doing this unit, and I kept it simple for my boys, um, but they had a lot of fun uh, learning, so pretty soon you guys will see our lap book and also most of the activities that we did while we were studying this unit, so stick around. And this is our lap book. I got this lesson from Teachers Pay Teachers and I made it into a lap book. Um, it wasn't necessarily meant to be a lap book, but we made it into a lap book and it worked out really nice. So it's all about plants and seeds. And when you open it, this is how it opens. And like this. So we did uh, what a plant needs, how do seeds scatter, a little book here. Uh, my favorite to eat, his favorite uh, plants to eat. And then these here fold over, these are plants we eat. This is also part of the lesson. So I did several lessons in this one um, lab book. There's different things that I found on uh, Teachers Pay Teachers that would complete what I was looking for. Uh, this is parts of a plant, different seeds here. So it folds out this way. And those are the seeds and what they are okay and then uh, a little booklet of how seeds grow here okay uh, some vocabulary in here a couple of these and then the definitions are in the back okay and this is parts of a seed here photosynthesis okay and then we studied about trees as well that plants are trees the trees are plants <laughs> all about roots he was able to write there life cycle of an oak tree because we had an oak tree book so we took advantage of that and we learned about oak trees and the life cycle and he wrote it down and illustrated it okay and then this is our state tree here so we put the information over here and this is the neighbor's tree. So we had read in the oak tree book that uh, for every inch in the tree, that uh, when you measure the tree trunk, for every inch is pretty much a year. So it was 37 inches, so we gave it 37 years old, our neighbor's tree, so that was fun. And again, this is just how we made our lap book to cover some of the information that we went through. We kept a very simple study. It wasn't in depth as far as uh, a lot of uh, specifics that you can go into, how plants and so forth. But this was a lot of fun. Um, and then in the back, we kept a couple of things. We did do a lime bean activity, and I'll show you pictures on that. And we also did some crafting. We made a, a tree out of um, tissue paper. And then we did another uh, plant, parts of a plant. Activity. So now we're going to be showing you some of the hands-on activities that we did to really sink in this study. One of our first activities was to paint our own flower pots. So I'm going to link above the video that we did separate for this activity. It was a lot of fun and the kids got to plant their own seeds and now watch them grow. Another activity that I did with them is I gave them a few fruits and vegetables so that they can uh, 
look for the seeds, uh, discover the seeds inside of them, and then put them in order in this little tray here. They had a lot of fun doing this. Um, it took a good 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and they had so much fun discovering the seeds and just placing them in order in this little tray. This was also a fun activity to show them how seeds differ in shapes and sizes. They're going everywhere! They're shiny! They're super! Another awesome activity is to see what plants we eat. So I gave them a tray full of plants that we eat and they had to put them in order as far as what category they belong to. Uh, so either in the uh, fruit family, flower family, root family, and they had a lot of fun doing this. And then they were able to enjoy and eat them. The last activity we talked about photosynthesis and so forth and we also got to observe and dissect a lima bean we were able to open it up and find the embryo inside and talk about the difference between a lima bean that has been soaked and one that has a hard seed coat So that's it you guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up please subscribe for more and we'll see you on the next one